Good morning, everybody. Um, I had a request for, well, not a request. Some guy asked me how you do it. Um, how to hang one of these bird feeders. So I'm going to show you the process I go through. Um, pretty simple, actually, but uh, uh, I'll show you how it's done. We can get this closer. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, lid is separate, obviously. In the bottom of the bird feeder, there are two holes I put in while it's still green. Uh, those two holes are to run the cable through. What I use is this. This is this is super soft, plastic coated, stranded. Uh, they call it picture hanging wire. I call it aircraft carrier. Maximum weight is forty three pounds. Uh, I was hoping it'd give the size. They're just calling it a number five. So I got that off of, you know, our favorite online store. So <laughs> everybody can figure out what that is. So anyway, you also need these little, these are very going to be very hard to film. It's a very soft aluminum uh, neural, I guess is what you'd call it. Anyway, it's a clamp and you feed feed your cable through there one time just let it slip down the cable and then i put the cable in through the top here through one of those holes which sometimes like today is not going to be easy pull the cable back through you have to have enough cable that you can reach back up to the top of the uh, feeder here and then you find your your clamp hope I'm not standing in front of the camera here you find your clamp and you feed you feed the uh, little aluminum thing through there I'm going to try and zoom in I've never tried this so nope not going to happen all right so I'm going to try and hold this closer then. So you got the clamp on the short end here. The tag end of your cable is just barely sticking through. And what you do is you just get the edge of it. These are little side cuts. Where's the lens? There it goes. Little side cuts. You barely catch the edge of your clamp. And I usually clamp it twice. So, as you can see, only one side of it is uh, is uh, crimped onto the cable. The other side still slips through. So then what I do is I pull, turn your piece over, pull all of this down. That puts the, that puts the cable clamp clear at the bottom of your feeder. And you have to then reach inside and hold. But then you can pull your cable back out. Sometimes it get, gets a little crimp in it and you have to work around that. But So what I'm doing is I'm basically feeding that cable back through that cable clamp. There we go. So now it's pretty well flush on the bottom of the feeder. And, it, and the feeder is locked in of course you don't want it hanging sideways you got a little a little excess in there i'm gonna get rid of all right don't want it hanging sideways so we're gonna put the lid on so i cut off a length of cable because you want to leave 
enough that you can get your feet in there. Then we get one more of the little aluminum clamps. You feed it, sorry, feed it through the hole in the top of the feeder. And then you put your clamp on, slide it down far enough, feed it back through, and that gives you a little loop in the top this over here and you give it a little loop in the top and then you uh crimp it on there make sure you i usually leave about a half an inch running through the clamp i crimp it both all the way across this time so when it's crimped it looks looks like that and that gives you a feeder. Now I've had these hanging outdoors uh, in the backyard for probably four years. Uh, cable hasn't rusted because it's these. This is a plastic coated cable, and when you will go to feed it, you unhook it from your hook. You just set your thing over on the side fill it up put this back on hang it in the tree uh, or wherever you're hanging it the um, squirrels have a hard time getting into these because they've got to lift it and the cable kind of protects them from getting in I mean of course they eat it off the bottom but I hope that explains it for you if you have any more questions just leave a message or a comment um, that's a short video for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've also got all these bird feeders. That's not a very good one. Let's try another one. There we go. So, got my little bird feeders here, or bird houses. These are wren houses. And that's a finished product on those. That'd be handy, so I thought I'd jump to you. There's a cork in the bottom here. You pull, you know, I'm going to jam that in there pretty good. But in the spring, I guess you're supposed to, or late fall, you're supposed to pull this out, uh, remove it, and then you can get your last year's nest out. And then reinsert it, and you're good for the next year. So that's a birdhouse. I've got videos on how to make the birdhouse and the bird feeders, so hope you enjoy these. I'll talk to you later. Please like and subscribe.